Hello. Soccer Hello. Hi. <laughs> how you doing? Hi. Tim? Hi, Mike. Oh, the cameras are broken. <laughs> Good broken. Oh, I guess I gotta fix this. You guys can talk. <laughs> talk or Mike, Mike, ha talk. Mike, sure. Yeah, how you what, what, how you... what did you? Welcome. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What do you want? To, what do you want me to answer? Do your job for you and answer your questions for you. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You said you I'm had sorry, an answer. I, like, I had an answer yeah. and was related to this um, this topic yeah. about uh, yeah. boards and like how polished uh, they need to be, at least from the, yeah. the drawing standpoint. Because um, yeah. I've talked about this with uh, coworkers and with directors that I've worked with on different shows and. Yeah. The hard part is, especially with a portfolio, is that because you're looking at the final product, the thing that yeah. makes it really tough is that you don't see the time that went into it. So like, if you see yeah. like a super clean board, you're like, mm -hmm. oh, that's very pretty, but did that take right. you like forever. a week? <laughs> did that take you a month? Yeah. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, like, especially on a TV production, yeah, you, and that's really my only experience is in television, not in feature, which has a very yeah. different, uh, you know, very different <laughs> schedule and everything. But like, yeah. it's like, okay, we have to get this thing out by in this amount of time. What can you yeah. feasibly do? I mean, I think that's what's good about, like, I've sort of come around, well, especially mm -hmm. if they're paid now, but like tests, because yeah. at least with a test sure. is that if you're given a very specific set of parameters, like rules of the test. Yeah. You're given only a set amount of time, i.e. like a week or, or yeah. five days, whatever it is to do it. And then sure. you're like, oh, I know because we gave this person, whether they do right. it, whether they did the work over the course of a full five days or <laughs> they were somehow able to knock it out in like five hours or whatever it is. Some yeah. people are machines. It's like, okay, well. We... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'll, no, I'll no, please. <laughs> no, no, continue. I think the only wall people ran into with tests is that people were were kind of like towing a line or like crossing a line in terms of like what they were expecting for a test or like they right. would uh you know obviously a lot of them were unpaid or like they i've heard stories of like people do a test they don't get the job but then they use something that someone did the test and, and like you that know happened what I mean? to like, me that yeah to me. yeah they use yeah. something that i tested and i use it for a show that i worked on i yeah. won't say which because i'm not going to throw anybody under the bus but, <laughs> you're not the only um, one i don't like i i've heard that but <laughs> i've heard it before so like it's stuff like that i think that's the only because obviously you give these motherfuckers an inch they'll take a mile and like you know it's just sort of, like you just, there just have to be regulations for tests yeah because i know I, like, I like the idea of it I don't think right, I do too. I mean, like, I remember getting, uh, I think it was the regular show test, and I remember uh -huh. years ago, and I remember doing it, and it's like, kind of like they want, but the thing is, it, the, the hard part was they expect yeah. you to do a board test, and like, it, it felt like a Highlights magazine. Oh, I did that um, one too. Yeah, where it's like, test. you know, uh, yeah, like, what is it? Mordecai and Rigby are looking at a bush. What does it look like? Yeah. Oh, they just yeah, took LSD. What does that bush look like? <laughs> were, yeah, they, I, I've done tests like that too. Yeah, and it was it's fun, like it's creative and fun and makes you think outside the box, but um yeah. which is an added thing, was... but I, I think overloading you with like tasks to do in a set amount of time yeah. is is asking for a lot. I think it's um, I think that would happen a lot with board driven shows because they were because you were kind of partially a writer. And yeah, because like... you had to kind of come up with do you, do you fit with the general context of general yeah. style or, or humor of the show. You I remember it. on <laughs> I remember the Looney Tunes test. Uh -huh. When I tested for Looney Tunes, because I already worked on, I worked on a previous Looney Tunes production, and the, mm -hmm. the producer was like, "Oh, we want you to test. We're testing everybody," and I'm right. like, "I well, I worked on Looney Tunes for like at that point already <laughs> for three years. Like, yeah. what else can I do?" Ridiculous. But then I saw, I saw the designs, yeah. and they were more Clampett inspired. But the test uh -huh. was very, the test had very specific mm -hmm. direction. So it was like, oh, you know, um, you could only do between thirty and forty panels. Uh -huh. And it's like, okay. Um, okay, it has to be this. It was Bugs and Elmer. And I was like, okay. Um, for this one, Elmer can't have a gun. So uh, find a creative solution to doing the old Bugs Bunny being chased by Elmer into his hole kind of situation. Right. And um, they, they, it gave you enough freedom to be like, oh, you only have a few days to do this, but let's see if you can draw the characters. Let's see if you understand, like, the sure. software or whatever like i yeah. think that's a good gauge 
for like a board. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, when you're working on a show, like the boards are going to be, it, all that matters is that there's clarity. They could look yeah. sloppy. I mean, my boards look pretty scratchy <laughs> and sloppy. But like, you say that, Mike. <laughs> I, I, I go the and I, pun, pun intended, I go, I do, excuse me, I do tend to go a little overboard. Uh, <laughs> but it's I understand, because I, but like, the thing is yeah. that it comes it comes naturally to me because I think it's one of those cases where I was an animator yeah. first, a board yeah, yeah. so I'm taking those yeah. kind of sensibilities in there. But yeah, totally. it's <laughs> as long as it's clear and you can tell what's going on. I mean, the one thing that we get a lot um, in boards, like even on production, was there were certain things that if we did it in the board, the overseas uh -huh. studio would misinterpret it. Like if an sure. eye pupil was right against the uh, Oh the, yeah. The line of the eye, it would the the animator would think that the eye is closed and they couldn't tell because I didn't right. realize it. But depending on what studio is animating it, mm -hmm. it, they don't have access to like computers with and they can see something full screen and zoom in. They're getting oh. essentially a, a either a printout or Xerox <laughs> like PDF of yeah. the thing, and they're only looking at a, a an image that's only about the size of a about the size of a post-it note, if not slightly bigger. So it's like oh, you have to be yeah. able to. You have to tell from, you know, essentially a small image. Oh, if it's clear, then it works. Right. Um, yeah. You know, and I think about that when I board, you know, things like shot flow and, and making sure that yeah. shots hook up. And I, it's, that's the thing too, is that as an animator, it's yeah. very easy for me to put in like an overshoot and settle. But if you're, if a person is looking at something by like a panel by panel basis. Yeah. And the panel is three panels to a page or whatever it is. And they can't see that subtle little movement. Unless yeah. there's actual like direction on the screen or in the action notes that you know yeah. character um, twiddles his thumbs, it's like well, if you're only <laughs> seeing it that's the size of a post that you can't in the hand you can't inside the post that yeah. is about the size of a uh, a pinhead, then <laughs> you'd be like, I'm not going to be able to see what's going on. It's not going to be interpreted properly. So it's just yeah, strong, clear posing, um, but it doesn't have to be like. I mean, I've seen like prime time TV boards, and they're practically. Inked. I remember when I was on BoJack, they asked us because I guess some of the, I guess whoever, the execs, whoever, yeah. asked for inked and colored boards because they didn't have <laughs> seen animation before. So they would be like, well, it's hard to determine how it's going to look when you just see these rough drawings. Can we see it look as close to the final? No, product? no, no. And we were all like, uh, fucking no. Yeah, like, no. Yeah. That. No um, ability to like think outside of what's in front of them. So yeah, and also like each show is different. So like, yeah, being on model I think is like on Looney Tunes. Like being on model wasn't important, sure, but it was important to you know make sure proportions are proper. And yeah, that's usually the case. So, I remember yeah. Central Park was one of the ones where we had to be so on model that we used stamps for the heads. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I see like, boards for that. Kind of it's, it's tough because you yeah. just. Frowning Muppet heads on top of <laughs> one rough. We had to be, I mean, we were so it was so specific that we like pupil movement would get notes, stuff like that. Oh, like yeah. it's, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. Where I'm just. Are we up now? Yeah, but if some people might not like, or I can do it. Hang on, I'm capable. Sorry, folks. I'm not going to repeat myself, but I just explained what the meaning of life was. And yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, I can't. I, I I'm tired. I can't repeat. I mean, I deal. feel like my entire life has changed. I wish I could, you know, share that with the rest of you, but can't yeah, you just it. have to, you just have to you just have to be there. You know, <laughs> you miss it out. It's like whenever I see pictures of the people going to Renaissance fairs, it's like you you, you, <laughs> you wouldn't get it. You have to just you have to just go. Yeah, you just like, gotta oh, go. Man, I didn't have my <laughs> I didn't have my 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 dirty wizard costume ready. Sorry. <laughs> If it was a true renaissance fair, people would be covered in human filth. It's I'm true. Sorry. They'd be shitting in buckets and tossing it out window. I mean, the, I mean, the closest thing to shitting in a bucket and tossing out the window is actually using a porta potty. At any that's like, true, honestly, and they do have those. <laughs> Lots. And that's of those. the that's the closest thing to They're medieval so times you're gonna get. You know, <laughs> those things are so that, nasty. Yeah, getting some sort of getting the plague from a <laughs> from a from a porta john. But anywho. Um, <laughs> Going back to speaking of a shitty topic, uh, boarding is very hard. No, but it is hard. What's it is hard. I don't. I um. I I almost said I don't enjoy it, but I actually do enjoy it. It just depends <laughs> on the parameters of what's expected. But going back to like the portfolio thing, I think it's important to have 
examples of what your natural drawing ability is, even yeah. if it's in its roughest form. Like if you're gonna have a portfolio, have an example of like a quote clean board and like a thumbnail yeah. board yeah, or a, but label them. So people aren't gonna see your first board and be like, oh, this looks like what is this? <laughs> stick figures. And it's like, no, 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 that's my thumbs. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's that's reasonable. Because yeah, having think... a side by side or something, I don't know how that works, but yeah, I... I just saw the SpongeBob movie again for the first time after years. We were at a friend's house. Oh, yeah? I'm like, you want to just it's put it on? And it's great. Right. I forgot because I saw it at a theater, but I had to stop because there was a gang shootout in the theater oh. next to us. So we were in the oh, uh, when they were in the all bubble blowing babies will be beaten senseless by every able bodied patron in the bar. That oh, scene geez. in the middle of that scene. <laughs> We hear pop, 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 and then the movie stops, and they're like, "Everybody, please leave. Don't go out in the emergency exit at the front of the theater." And then I didn't get to Lord. see the rest of the movie until I think it was out on video or on DVD. <laughs> and I was Christ. like, "God damn it!" <laughs> I want to see SpongeBob. Yeah, but to be and of all times for that to happen in the scene where there's like yeah, a bunch of like pretty... tough guys going on a baby hunt after the bubble blowing <laughs> babies. Yeah. But, <laughs> but going, yeah. But I, I, uh, yeah. I just, it's, it's weird because I can't imagine what a, a recruiter has to go through when they're like looking yeah. at like hundreds of portfolios and like, yeah. It's like the demo reel thing where they always say on a demo reel, put your best stuff at the beginning of the demo reel. Don't do it in chronological yeah. order because yeah, you're gonna be seeing your worst good. stuff first. Some you know, people say stuff. to sandwich it where it's like beginning and end, but I think the very best stuff up top. I always heard put the best, oh. but I was always told put your best up at the end because people are going to remember the last thing they saw. Hmm. I think you can mix it up. It's good to start strong, mix it up yeah. in the middle, but really start with your stronger, that's newest stuff. Yeah, I think that's the sandwich theory. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of, <laughs> I see a lot of like, I follow a lot of CG animators and mm, yeah. um, you can really tell uh, when they've updated because they'll do like their their 2024 or 2023 or whatever real or they're real yeah. when they worked at a specific studio for a set amount of time and they will put their newest stuff at the front and then of course because of the limitations of the technology and the rigs and stuff you don't <laughs> want to see like you know crappy mid 90s pre shrek tests at the beginning of the reel <laughs> before like i don't know yeah uh, the newest movie that they did so like yeah. you want to put your best stuff forward I think so. Yeah, I think that's fair. But with boards, yeah, like clean up one shot, or clean up like a, f a couple frames in the beginning, and, and and put some rough stuff in there too, so they can see like, oh, yeah. this is what a rough scene looks like versus a clean drawing. Right. Yeah, you I know? think that's fair. I think that would be a good. I mean, <laughs> I, I I know because talking to directors when they would look at, uh, they would say like, yeah, when we look at te test stuff, we look for what is the close to seeing someone's ability when they're like on the show. So right. not in set parameters, they're gonna be in a studio and they only have, you know, a week or two weeks to do a, a board. Right. Uh, are they gonna be able to deliver this stuff? I never, wasn't there a show that was yeah. hiring based off people's fan art? And then they realized like, oh, well they could draw the characters really well, but that doesn't mean uh, they could draw them quickly. I don't know, is there? I thought there was an there was a, it's bad. I don't know. To be honest, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, but either way, like I think it's just showing the easiest way to show off your skills, just like right off the bat, like oh, they can board and they can board either fairly clean or fairly rough, but their posts yeah. are clear and they understand yeah. basic things like hookups and uh, camera <laughs> moves and. and yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of talking head stuff, a little bit of action stuff. Yeah, I have a, yeah, I think it's, I think it's good to have a mix. I could do drama, I could do comedy, I could do action, I can, you know, do it all, baby. Don't really do it all. People don't really do reels or boards anymore. You kind of just put your shit up on a website and people click around on it. Yeah, yeah. I, the great thing is, is that now, at least as websites, I mean, I, I made a, um, what's it called? I made a, a Google site because it was mm. free and. Because I don't, I'm like, I look at Wix and my eyes like cross. But like, oh, yeah, I, fuck that website, yeah. like, or Wix or like any of those ones where it's like, you want to make a, you know, make square, use Squarespace or whatever. And like, <laughs> I look at yeah. the interface and I like, I kind of like, oh, just put something here and you just drop this in here. It's easy. And then yeah. I kind of like, like slowly like breathe a little faster and more shallow. And I'm like, <laughs> and I just have to close it because it gives me anxiety. 
But um, <laughs> Google Sites is pretty easy and it's free. Okay. And then I just, I found a website where you can upload um, PDFs and you can actually go through them um, one at a time. Like you oh, don't have great. to like download the PDF. You can just go and it's essentially that's like great. a little play, like a play bar. Like you can embed. Yeah, yeah. I think, what is it? There was one that was called like Squibbed or Squid, something like that, that used to be a case, but I think you have to Maybe. pay to use it now. But Maybe. there's another site have... that... I have one that I, I use this one called Portfolio Box. It's pretty good. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like yeah, whatever you, as long as you can upload a PDF and you can actually like look at yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty versatile. Um, like you can do a bunch of yeah. shit. There's nothing worse than like I had to show an example of a board on my phone <laughs> because there's no uh -huh. like way to like scrub yeah. through a board. You have to just sort of like, <laughs> and there's no way, especially for someone like me who tends to like, mm. you know, I. Since I animate, I tend to flip my drawings, but I also flip my right. boards too when I'm boarding. I go back and forth and then I draw and do that. Right. Yeah. I like to easily be able to go to the next scene and see where the character is and register and stuff. Right. And um, in a PDF, when you have to scroll, it's like impossible to do that. So if you can do yeah. a lot of cycles and micro actions, you're like, oh, this, you can't tell what the <laughs> hell is going on. It's tough. Yeah. 10 panels or whatever it is. <laughs> but. Um, I mean, like, also, I think it's hard, too, because, like, we live in the age where, I mean, that's also a detriment, because the more, like, software is able to, like, oh, you can export an MOV, you can time stuff, you can do this. It, yeah. It puts a lot of pressure to be, like, oh, I have to, like, be an editor and also a sound really? engineer and this. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's the, but the fact that, like, most people would rather watch an animatic or people yeah. have more access to things like animatics than they do just straight PDFs of boards. Yeah. I mean, I'm guilty of that. I only know how to put in animatic form. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't really done it in PDF for the most part. It feels but good to be able to like have something where you can just press the little button and let it go. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's also just how I learned the program. So like, and a lot of the shows I worked on just had radio plays, and I was like, okay. <laughs> That's true, because I mean, you worked on shows um, a lot of the uh, you know a lot of music stuff. Yeah, so you have to work either to a soundtrack or if it's a like I worked on on Bojack, they gave us audio and there was yeah. no we had to stick to the timing. So like right. whatever timing was in the in the in the yeah. track. That's how it is on it. uh Tasman and like hell Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Which is like it just depends it just depends right. on the production. Some people prefer yeah. I mean like if you're working on like a board driven show you're uh -huh. you have to do all of that just based off of an outline and then you come up with essentially everything yeah yeah you're like a yeah. you're like a, a storyboarder is like a director light it's sort <laughs> of like you're you're directing your own scene and then you have someone else who looks over it later your actual yeah director. yeah but, pretty much uh, yeah i'd say that's accurate <laughs> yeah i mean i learned the software too i had to i learned it on the job and uh, it yeah, was pretty easy yeah. to take. At least Storyboard Pro was easy to pick up. And yeah. Two Boom Harmony, I, I learned um, because I wanted to do my film cleanup in Two Boom. So I just sort of, and I'm like, I'm like a grandpa in terms <laughs> of like understanding software. It's like, hey, if I know, as long as I know how to, I don't know all the fancy buttons and gadgets <laughs> and everything, but as long yeah. as I know that I had to like go from frame to frame and draw on it and copy and yeah. paste. Um, I'm yeah. happy. Like I animate. I, I used to animate in Storyboard Pro just because it was so easy. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's I not do. hard. It's pretty easy. I just saw a disembodied it. arm. Oh, there we go. I finally <laughs> fixed my camera. Oh, Yay. good. I guess oh. when it but, crashed, it messed my camera. Uh, Continue. I've but, been uh, like, hmm? I've been like trying to sort of ish learn how to navigate Blender, and let me tell you. I hate using 3D programs. Blender is so, update, Blender, Blender is so nice. I know they recently I, they recently updated sure the interface so the the site the the icons are easier to like. Oh no, I'm sure it's great. Right. No, 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 that was a that was a plugin someone made, like an individual. <laughs> oh, oh okay. I saw I saw it making the rounds. Was it the same thing that was making the rounds I like just, two days yeah, ago? Yeah, it, it was somebody made it so it's like there's icons because it doesn't have any icons that identify what each thing does, and then it also organized the menus to be more art inclined. Like artist inclined, sure. but yeah, it was somebody made like I'm a sure plugin to put into it. But I um, just, I feel like I want to die every time I. Play I it. I learned 3D actually using Google SketchUp when I was trying yeah, to make. I remember you. Uh, and, yeah. Like, oh a yeah. School for my web comic, and I went yeah, way too deep. I right. I made a kitchen area for the school, like a cafeteria that 
no scene ever took place in in the entire comic and i even oh, made like please. knives on a cutting board and i said like if i'm ever doing anything stop me i think it was ferocious and ferocious was like stop making knives on the cutting board in the wall stop making knives. <laughs> yeah. um but i learned that and the one thing i've learned about 3d programs is that once you kind of get the hang of like the base level it doesn't really matter which one you're using once even if the even if like the format or the layout or everything is different once you start to realize yeah. what the buttons are it in your head it just kind of it's like a language it just makes starts making sense and you kind of catch know, on to it I quickly just, so I, after going from like google sketchup into blender i was like learning and i was like oh this is like this and squeak sketchup and this is like that yeah. and sketchup and i actually did that on a yeah. netflix show where no one really knew how the space worked and i spent like an afternoon just building the entire office in sketchup and then uh my <laughs> director actually knew sketchup too so sh uh, she imported the drawings of the characters like the lineup <laughs> and then made them individual things so you can slide them around as and they're all height relevant uh, uh -huh. and then oh, the yeah. crew was like oh my god this saves us so much fucking time <laughs> and the thing is the great thing is that you put a lot of thought into the forefront in the in uh on the front end just so it saves a lot of trouble on the back end yeah mm -hmm. i kind of did this like a quarter of the way in <laughs> so oh uh, yeah Cause like I was like a team that came in later and they already had a couple episodes done. That, that feels like it should be someone's fucking job to do that. Well, not I mean, most would... people you're gonna hire don't know things like SketchUp, especially SketchUp. It's yeah. not something you people usually use and it, or like Blender, it's not like really common. Um, yeah. So it's I hard know, to find someone who can like do, cause like normally you would give it to the person who can do the concept art or like the art director or something. Um, yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Cause like- well, I know that like, mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You can no, go. no, continue. My no, 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 it's your time. No, it's, it's fine. I just I was just saying that like I remember when uh, I had a, I knew someone who was using Google SketchUp for comics and stuff. And the great thing about SketchUp was that a lot of times like you just you could make, add your own flourishes to it on your own later. But as long as you just like block out a room and place and make the space, it was great. But then I think SketchUp became like you had to pay to use it. Yeah, it worked, eventually did. Point. But you could you could find like, like an uh, old version of it. And you don't need to license it, and you could just. I, so I just passed it around to people. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I did. I was using it, and then it updated, and it says, "Oh, you got to pay." And I'm like, "Bullshit, I do." Yeah. And I, Fuck off. I just, I Fuck just off, gave baby. up. I want to learn, um, because I'm gonna, I want to learn to make some stuff so I can do some um, 3D printing and stuff. But I want to do, um, uh, there's a there's a program that's apparently very versatile uh, for the uh -huh. iPad called uh, Nomad Sculpt. Oh, and I wanted to get that. It's it's a flat rate, I think, of like twenty bucks. So cool. Yeah, mm. I want to make. Um, I mean, Nicole, you already know what I'm gonna make. Um, I was gonna make something for <laughs> Lightbox, but I didn't end up getting a oh, table. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh yeah. Yes. Really but I I want to make <laughs> a um because I yeah. found out for, for, I, how easy it is to make bath bombs. You know, like <laughs> bath bombs. <laughs> so I had an idea um, for a bath bomb because I I was a tweet that I made as a joke. <laughs> um, I said, I said, guys, like, come on, I know it's cursed, but isn't this a great idea? And I just posted an <laughs> image of the clown shoe from Roger Rabbit being dipped into the dip. And I said, come <laughs> on, wouldn't that make a good bath bomb? It's so good. It's and so then good. my friends were like, why don't you? Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. And then like, so yeah. I'm <laughs> actually, I'm learning the program. I'm, I actually just, uh, I'm, I'm picking it up this week. I'm going to sculpt the clown shoe i'm going to sculpt like i'll b yeah. learn the basics and then the clown shoe is pretty simple it's just like yeah, essentially cool. a cylinder that expands in the front in a sphere and then the, the little yeah. like whatever that little weird pocket is that you stick your foot in the mickey mouse yeah. shoe uh <laughs> part but uh and then you yeah. just put some sad eyes on it and yeah. um and it's the clown shoe <laughs> from roger rabbit and i'll and i'll figure out oh, what the God. scents are going to be and i think what'll happen is you dip it in it's it in it and inside it's green so it looks like the color of the, the yeah of the yes yes but the I one think. thing i'm going to do is i'm going to also make i want to i want to make the 3d model so i can mold it so i can make a simple mold yeah. of the shoe and then just i can cast the shoe yeah i think that's smart because then you can make cast it away <laughs> yeah and it would be fun so i'm learning 3d because i also also it's cool to like make I want to make this stuff that I've always wanted when I was a kid, but nobody yeah. made them, like characters and shows yeah, and movies. Yeah. That I always wanted. And there's something I re I've yeah. always wanted, but no one's ever done. Disney's never, I mean, I guess Disney doesn't want the connotation, but I always wanted figurines <laughs> of the pink elephants from Dumbo. And I said, oh, wouldn't yeah. it be cool if you could just 
print them in transparent vinyl like resin why wouldn't like, they resin is there something i don't know a, you put a light underneath i don't know i guess just people don't care oh okay i mean it's not like people, <laughs> people, are, like, are, people are coming in and into bob Iger's office saying we need merch of pink elephants oh okay <laughs> they want more olaf clip art olaf on a, on a yeah bar. <laughs> but but like um i don't know i i mean I'm, i want to get into my um entrepreneurial age where i'm just like i love working a steady job um and i like being able to work with other creative people but like in a weird yeah. way the animation industry is sort of like from no fault of the of any person in, i mean Zaslav is one of them. I can blame him. But like yeah, I, many I I'm just sort of overall just sort of like disheartened and disappointed. Not about like yeah. I mean I it's it's true. I'm I'm disappointed about the state of the industry right now, but I'm just like in a weird way, it's sort of in a way kind of let me down these last during the pandemic and then yeah. afterwards. Not a lot of so us now do. so now I'm like, you know what? Like I wish because the, the problem is in mod I mean, now we're getting into I don't know, like other topics, but <laughs> I wish that schools don't talk about certain things, like certain things that people need to know, like uh, business stuff and understanding. Uh, oh, that'd be great. Reading. <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is, though, is that if they did teach that in school, nobody would keep it any. I mean, I barely remember the Spanish I learned in Spanish class. <laughs> but like if, if yeah. you were sitting in a class and you're like, oh, man, I have gym and I'm excited because we're doing badminton this month. This is going to be great. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I have to sit through and learn about like budgeting and writing checks. Like you're not going to retain any of that information. But, <laughs> yeah. But I yeah. The, the problem is, is also that the nomenclature of like the language of understanding things like, mm -hmm. you know, setting up a, a not even just a bank account, but like setting up a Roth IRA or setting up different, like, I don't understand any of that business stuff. It just goes zoom to do that. right over my, yeah, it goes right over my head. Like, I don't have, I don't have plans for retirement. I just assume I'm just going to die. Either. I'm going to die relatively like young. So. Yeah. I'll just die at like 40. It's fine. I'm, I don't need a plan for retirement. But like, uh, but the thing is, is that now I'm at the point where it's like, well, the studio isn't providing work. I guess I should just make work for myself. So I want to do more independent stuff and sell stuff and make stuff. And yeah, I now I want to get into my entrepreneurial stage where I'm like, let me just create this and get back into what I really love about doing art, which is doing it for the sake of it. Yeah. But then if I can make a little bit of money doing it, then cool. You know? Yeah. I can, you know, why not? The, you know, I, I've, I've done, I've, I've given enough of my life to a, you know, a computer and, a desk <laughs> and another company i could do it now yeah yeah why not but um <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do it's it's uh it's a weird time but it makes me in a weird way i'm also yeah. more inspired because i'm seeing a lot more people like notice the bolt the writing on the wall and be like that's bullshit. oh and yeah being like, oh I'm yeah gonna do my own thing i i like yeah i agree i think why do you think we're here right now yeah. on the stream <laughs> yeah exactly i mean i mean there's more independent things happening like people are at least attempt you know and like people are realize yeah there's a there's a lot of younger people especially that like i think they're they're wise to this horse shit and um, they're not into it <laughs> i'm always i'm always very curious because the thing about like people who were raised in the internet age or yeah. with with um yeah knowing that how nomadic um social media is in terms of like yeah there's no like you there's nothing concrete about it at any moment uh, no. like you we were talking before the terms of service changes or something or like mm -hmm. you know yeah. twitter gets bought out by a weird dude that looks like an anamorph between a a <laughs> orangutan and a the front end of a chevy pickup and yeah. you, and yeah. then they're like oh it's it, knowing that you know, everything's like, different <laughs> like knowing a bunch of animators who were like new grounds people and then they had to they were making good money on on blip tv and then that died so they went to youtube and they were doing well right. and then youtube changed and they had to move ship or do something different yeah. or and it's like they have to constantly change their there's nothing you know, ways of making what, things yeah there's nothing concrete about it because like, like they're I changing think, the algorithms to make it what they think is better for everyone but it usually fucks over uh, slow creators 
like animation right. is slow so yeah. it used to favor animators and then they changed it and then it's like oh it favors quick rapid content or yeah. just minutes oh. viewed so yeah. like if you're gonna if this it's easy to record if you're doing i mean like i'm not throwing shade at let's players but like it's something where it's like you can record yeah three hours of content and if you break it up into 20 minute pieces and you come out with two one or two videos yeah. a day yeah you, know, you obviously need That's to edit what a lot it. of them do yeah. right so it's like you're you're you can make a large qu a quantity of footage or, or or viewable content just by pressing a record button and recording a screen yeah. um yeah. than you would spending you know three months on a cartoon that's only two minutes long like it's it's, it's yeah it's, it's it not... doesn't reward the right thing Name, right but, it's, it's immediate you know. <laughs> games that they like the immediate gain of something but i think yeah. a lot of young people uh younger people who are raised on the internet at least have mm. more of a like understanding of how i don't know how bullshit it is so yeah, at least they can come in so. and be like okay now i know how to prepare i know how to use this i know what's the best yeah. ways of using what are you are you you're poking <laughs> <laughs> Like that, it, was, it was like watching a cat video. <laughs> I was just watching. It was like watching a little cat video. It was cute. <laughs> I slapped Nicole. Oh me? Yeah, on the oh. on the Twitch. <laughs> you were uh, you. I wasn't even. I was. No, I mean, like a cat yeah. going after a toy. The one thing that I'm still not sure about is it's it's weird. I don't know how I feel about like huh. there are a lot of startup studios and small studios. People kind of yes. like making their own thing, and that's really cool. But yeah it's like for me i was just talking about it in the car with some friends earlier and i was like you know what the one thing i'm not sure of is sure i can't like weirdly i can't see a studio lasting mm -hmm. longer than a set amount of time because it's made in a very specific like there's nothing yeah. concrete because there's no backing to it it's like you know yeah. without anything that's backing it it doesn't um it doesn't exist yeah. or it doesn't have value so like yeah, unless you make it like yeah. people make like friends get together and they make a pilot or they make a show and if it gets a little bigger or if they make a series of it sure but is that going to last is that studio going to be an entity in 10 years are I mean, those people depends, still going to be there in they years? have to have they have to have people that are business savvy is the thing right like and that and it's weird it's like you i i i see so they're not like animation related necessarily or strictly but you know um you know dropout that whole oh that yeah company. yeah they've i mean i will say they've proven to me that you can be a business and be a successful company and not be a total shit bag <laughs> yeah and like constantly be like we have to get bigger and bigger like they they're pretty like from what i understand they've they've made it work they're pretty sustainable everyone gets paid well and fair and like they're nice people and i'm sure there's things i don't know but like for the most part, like it, it's it's possible to have a business and not be a giant greedy asshole, <laughs> and right. or not be it in it, or, or if they understand you know? basic economics. Because I think that's yeah. the problem is that a lot of people don't understand like basic economics of playing the long game. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, like I didn't go to fucking school for any of that. I don't know. Right, you know, I'm <laughs> an know? artist. I just want to create stuff. Whether it makes money is like completely, you yeah. know, it's purely coincidental. But like, yeah, I, me. I mean, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Um, I've seen enough Kickstarters for um, video games <laughs> start and yes. fail because oh, it's like the bunch of people have a really great idea for a video game, but if you don't, yeah. if you don't have people who are coders or understand like the technicals of making, yeah, you need game, every. Unfortunately, aspects. you need business savvy people though as well. Yeah, a lot of people do, do this. I mean, obviously, and yeah. And nobody course. knows how to yeah, manage right. money. No one knows how to do taxes. Nobody knows how to do yeah. any of that stuff. And then they're just like, no, why yeah, do I owe important. the government so much money? We're under. Oh, a project <laughs> fail, and it's like. Because you, yeah, you, you don't have the you don't have the experience and you you don't know any of that extra. Also, it's like for something like Dropout, I wanted to say like they also pump mm -hmm. out a lot of content though. Video, yeah, unfortunately, like even if it's hard to make content, live action people like yeah. uh, Rocco is saying it, it's it's so much easier to pump out a lot of stuff. Yeah, so it's like course. making an yeah. indie animation studio is still the odds are against yeah. you way harder, unfortunately than. Yeah, I agree. Like, I think you have well, a lot more to you have a lot more to prove. You have to yeah. it takes and a lot know. more to lose. You can point, I mean, a, you could, you could yeah, point a camera course. and you automatically get something. Whereas if you have to make it, <laughs> you have to animate something. You have to plan it. Yeah. You have to like the sound is. Yeah, Do you know how many shorts I get from like one of these streams? I get like I can get like anywhere between five to like fifteen to twenty, <laughs> depending on what we yeah. say. I mean, I get that. You know, I mean, you have to I'm cut out. Saying, all of them. 
I'm just saying I was like because because anytime you think of like a company there's always a point where everyone just turn like they do something where it's like wow these guys are fucking giant shitbag assholes all they care about is you know their bottom line but it's like it's hard it's 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 a little heartening to see something that's not totally fucked <laughs> and it's like a, <laughs> and it's like a it's like a functioning you gotta wait business that knows what they're doing and it's know, not about know. like maximizing profits and it yeah. expanding every year it's more about like, yeah. you know, care about the art i think a lot of people yeah. just have a hard time with just you know. not with just not being okay with what they have you know what i mean yeah like, that's the problem because like, a lot of the people that are business savvy are greedy fucking assholes. And that's the thing is most of the com- like almost every really? big tech company and movie industry and everything, they're all like bankrupting. And it's like, cause you went too big. Like yeah. if anything, Barbie and Oppenheimer proved that you can make way lower budget films and still make more money. Like just as big as like your big Marvel movies or whatever. To, and it's just like, got a question, like it, it, why it, is it always more? Whatever, and, but that's the thing is like, they're so dumb because like they could be making all these lower budget films and trusting so many different unique people and so like if you and if you invest in somebody who's like yeah. maybe a new director or something and they bomb at least you had a sl- smaller budget for it but then you can have more content and those can all make way more money potentially than what you did and you don't have to go like crazy big because like what they do is they just invest everything in like one big movie for the year yeah i mean guillermo del toro does like he, i mean I, he, i'm sure he still does it now and he probably has more ability to do it now now that he's you know much more established but mm. he would be like, hey, I love your idea. I don't want to like take over the thing, but I want to, you know, promote it or invest it. Yeah. Just yeah. Make, label me as a producer and I will make sure you get some money in this thing. And it's a mm-hmm. lot easier to be like, if you you could put 20 million in one movie or you could put 1 million in 20 movies or you could put 2 million in 10 movies, like, and then you have a variety and you know that like, you might, sure, you right. might not be able to get your, you know, maximum dollar back, but you have an opportunity like, oh, you could have, you could make, you could put twenty million dollars into uh, one thing and then bank it all sure. on that racehorse. Or you could be like, I oh, would... here's an indie horror film, or here's a rom com, or here's a sci fi movie, or here's. A I would just love thing. if, I would love if in entertainment, the priorities were correct. In, meaning, why the fu- like, it's always just, is it going to make money? Is it going to make money? I just, for once, I just want it to be like doing something for the sake of it i understand that you have to be like a little bit like is it gonna make money minded but there's I, no but it's like so imbalanced that it's crazy <laughs> yeah la- like, last week ridiculous oh, last week i watched um with friends we spin a wheel and we watch random movies uh, sometimes yeah. they're good and sometimes they're bad and the last week we watched um it was the tintin movie do you remember the tintin oh, movie that, yeah. Spielberg did? that looked beautiful so like it's fun yeah. that movie's fun um, yeah. but like back then, like maybe back in the nineties and early two thousands, like Spielberg had a lot of like sway in regards to like getting stuff made yeah. and produced and stuff. Not yeah. so much nowadays. So like you look at people like, like Spielberg really wants to do another Tintin movie, but no studio would let him. And you think like, why would a studio not let Steven Spielberg, one of the most it's successful filmmakers of all time. Crazy. And that's when you hear stories about like Martin Scorsese has to make like a studio mark a studio film and then he can make his little indie fun little which is he wants to make when you think about that and how much it should blow everyone's fucking mind that like we're so goddamn money and capitalism brain that fucking people are are denying steven spielberg of all people to do whatever the fuck he wants <laughs> Like, regardless like, of if you think it'll make money. Like, I just don't understand. Like, how could you... You have to be so fucking shitty and jaded and greedy and bullshit to, like... It's just... It's nuts to me. I don't know. I just... I, I mean, think- that's just it. Is that, like, it's one thing, especially during the streaming age, where it's like, well, everybody who works at a major studio or a streaming service, where they're like, well, subscriber count is the thing that we get all our profits from because we don't have ads up until now they're starting to fit bring it in but it's a little too late for that but like if there are people who are like the average employment uh length of like say an executive is maybe Mm -hmm. what tops before they switch to another (laughs) studio or 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 fail upwards to the next thing is what tops three to five years yeah very very unless they're like unless they're like a major shareholder in the company they're not going to stay nine times out of ten they don't give a shit about what business they're in they're just right like, it's also crazy. like what happens after what happens after my regime or before my regime who cares because i'm not making money in here 
So it's like you're gonna make you want to make yeah. as much money and line your pockets now and then get it out while the getting is good. No one no one who works I'm at Warner Brothers is bail. thinking about yeah. no one at Warner Brothers or Disney are thinking about like the long term plans of the company. Like, you know, if we no, do something this not. way, it might we might not make a lot of money on the front end, but think about like 10 years down the line, we'll get money from this, 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 and this, and then we'll get, we'll make our budget and back like, and fold, or we bank wanna, it all in one go and then hope that it does well. I want to shake Getting. these motherfuckers and be like, stop being an art. Stop doing, thinking you make a bunch of fucking money on art. Fuck you. Like, it's just so, like, go, go to fucking Wall Street, you fucking parasite. I just, ah, oh God, I hate it. I mean, I, for one, I, I, for one, am excited for um, unboxing the movie. Uh, I think that'll be a real hit. <laughs> I can't wait that? to see. It's, uh, it's, I'm just joking that, remember when everyone was doing unboxing videos a few years ago? Oh, yes, yeah. I just, yeah. I'm waiting for them to be like, unboxing <laughs> the movie the this movie. summer. I mean, This that... summer, open it up and find out what's deep inside. Starring Chris Pratt as the man who opens the box. And Kevin and Hart like, <laughs> as the box. Kevin Hart as, as the We've box gone... itself. We've gone beyond parody to where that shit can actually happen. And it's just like, what the fuck are we doing? I was going to say falling was... down compilation, the movie. <laughs> I was going to say that <laughs> I, I know at one point, I don't remember exactly what part of history, but I know for a fact, at one point, one of the vice presidents of <laughs> used to be um, in charge of like uh, NBA and things like, like other sports programs as executive uh -huh. of, of like sports content. And they really enjoyed that. But eventually they were like, hey, you can make more money if you manage like this cartoon company. And the guy was like, sure, but I'll do it. Like, let's go. Sure. And then they did it. <laughs> and then they like it. almost ran into the dirt. Um, yeah. yeah, because it's, I mean, they treat every single business like it's exactly the same. Like you can do the exact same horror shit. And it's like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. I mean, it's all one of the short term. And if, and if it crashes, they just bail because the whoever's going to take yeah. over. It's like a presidency. It's like whoever's going to take over, they're just going to assume that that the problem yeah they think the problem is from yeah. that new person that came over that's what that's why they yeah. dumped um that's why they at&t dumped Disc uh, uh warner brothers onto discovery because they were tanking yeah. it and they were like all right it's your problem and if it fails we didn't fail so our investors will be happy it's you who failed don't blame failed. me yeah. i didn't do it i mean it was funny at warner brothers we, we went through both mergers we went through all of that in on the span of one production and it was the funniest damn thing i oh <laughs> And, and like the guy who runs Warner Brothers now is like a reality TV exec. He runs. About, he's, all, um, he's the guy that runs. Um, it, it was called Warner's Warner Brothers Unscripted, which I didn't even know was. A, <laughs> I, I didn't even know was a, was a, 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 a part of the company. I mean, that was part of the reason why Warner Brothers and Discovery merged because the, the, like that's the one thing yeah. that they didn't have was reality television. Every other major company has a network or something. Well, that's that why there was CN Real, reality. remember? CN Real? Yeah. They were trying to compete with like Disney TV and Nickelodeon's so, like Hannah Montana and Drake and Josh shit. Because the thing is, is that Disney Disney branding doesn't mean just animation. And they realized that. And the I remember just seeing the gradual transition from it being like essentially a, a, a network for like moms and their babies to being yeah. about uh, tweens, 12, 14 year olds. Blue Star Trimmer said they are literally making a magic eight ball movie and an Uno movie because Barbie was yeah, successful. Yeah, I know. They're actually making yeah. a Barbenheimer movie. They're making a movie where yeah, they Barbie what? and Oppenheimer. Yeah, that's an actual I, thing. I, that they're I had heard making. about that. I will, I'll just say yeah. this. It actually has the potential to slap. <laughs> I mean, Mattel, I mean, that's the thing. Is that Barbie, when they announced the Barbie movie, people were like, oh, really? I mean, the thing is, for every Barbie movie, well, there's like who's in charge. Really it depends on who's in charge of it, right? That's all that matters. I mean, I'd love to see. I would love to see a horror movie about a barrel of monkeys. Then every time someone opens <laughs> that barrel, those monkeys. I just out. it's it's difficult for me because like, I just know so much fucking shitty cynicism is behind the inception of it. That yeah, even if they give it to an amazing, amazing writer and it's amazing and whatever. Like, there's always a little part of me that's like, yeah, but this has become some because of some fucking shitty, greedy ass executive that doesn't yeah. know what they're doing. It's like, this seems like a good idea. And the problem is well, when, they're, when they're successful at it, they want to do more. And like right now, right. that Mattel is like, oh, let's make a bunch of these movies. And what's probably going to happen is most of them are probably going to flop. And then they're going to go, yeah. why did we invest in movies? This was a mistake. Uh, right. And they're going to pull <laughs> out. Mean, yeah. If you look at the dawn of film and like, like at least commercial filmmaking in terms of like theatrical movies and stuff 
Yeah. People were making films because it was a new medium and they could tell the stories they wanted to tell in a different way and that was interesting. And then yeah. when studios got bigger and you started getting like your Paramounts and your 20th Century Foxes and your Columbia Pictures and all that stuff, yeah. then they're like, okay, well, to make these kind of movies, we have to, every once in a while, we're going to have to make a movie that really draws people in. We make a lot of money and then we can throw it back into the movies. Because yeah. it wasn't like a conglomerate thing. It wasn't like it, no one's caring about. But that's the thing. I understand that. You know, right, like, but the fact that it's you know, morphed into something, yeah. and you would think like, oh, wouldn't a studio want to have like an IP-based thing where they make a bunch of really like movies that <laughs> clearly are making a lot of money, so they can put that money towards like more yeah. heartfelt, independent like films the they problem, care about. Yeah, but now we I have think... people who, who run movie studios that like aren't movie people they don't give a they're, shit they're business people they do not give a shit they come from tech i mean like not to not to throw down people from tech but like no do it from, from people, people no but, well i mean no people people, <laughs> from, people like people who come in yeah. from like the fact that apple has the backing of like well we have our major company and now we can invest our almost infinite income into making um making stuff for a streaming service like cool like apple tv was for a long for a while was like Keep your eye on Apple TV because at least they have the money and the capital that they can throw in to make, like, I guess, mm. quote unquote, a good show. But it's, <laughs> it, you don't know what you're going to get depending on who's. I mean, you, yeah, you could you could put a monkey in a, in a you could give a monkey a million dollars and it's going to either spend it all on bananas or eat it or throw it out the window <laughs> because it's funny. You don't know what they're going to do with the money. So yeah. like, you put yeah. a you know Bob Chop uh, Bob Chopek, he yeah. left disney and now he's like a major player at like a pharmaceutical company like it doesn't fucking matter because he's yeah, just like a dude it's it's not yeah. about the art it's a he's a businessman and that's the reason why yeah. he got to the point where he is because he's really good at business whether yeah. that's whether a businessman yes like like look at i mean it's not a great example but like <laughs> walt yeah. walt disney is like the visionary that ran that studio and it was a studio yeah. before it became a company in the 80s and before and, you know yes. obviously after he died yeah. but no one talks about his brother and his brother was the one who had to like yeah. ship bricks and sweat bullets because walt would be like i want to build a theme park and his brother was like brother friend <laughs> no this is stupid <laughs> this is, I don't, what the fuck are you doing and then he would be like i want to make a movie i want to make a full-length animated film i want to make a theme park i want to make I want to get into this. I want to get into animatronics. And <laughs> his brother would be, have to be the person that would have to figure out the business <laughs> stuff. And he, you need yeah. the business side. You need someone. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I you agree. You need someone I to ground that. you, but there needs to be, because these companies are so the large. Yeah. The and problem now is they're they losing all of their soul entirely. It's like, it's, it's again, it's like a, it's like, it's like incredibly off balance. It's Animal Farm. The pigs, yeah. the pigs now run the farm, and the pigs, uh, yeah, all animals are created ridiculous. equal, but some are more equal than others. I mean, that's the that's the state we're at now with people yeah, who run and, companies and, and uh, especially yeah. film studios and creative uh, ventures. It's fucking ridiculous! I just but, I'm so done with it. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's cool that like companies like oh. you know like Glitch, they're uh, yeah. there's people who come from these. A lot of the people who who created Glitch, like the folks who created Glitch, they Yes. came from they had a background where they had they worked at studios or they yes. worked at companies and they knew how to run them they were business oriented but they were able to be like all right we understand how like a business runs but like let's <laughs> have a bunch of creative people here and just let them go because they know what they're yeah. doing yeah exactly but i can see my <laughs> timer is about to go and i'm gonna blow up in three two uh... <laughs> but yeah uh, i'll let I won't. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Mr. Megan said, "Hey, I killed my golden goose." Golden but goose, but eggs. I still want eggs. Any advice? <laughs> I always think about. Last thing I'll say, I, 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 I would hang it up in my office. In my office, but oh. I would. It would just make me sad if I saw it all the time. But I keep thinking <laughs> of that one. There's like one political cartoon of like, uh, like a post-apocalyptic wasteland, and there's a oh. bunch of people by like a little fire in a tin can. There's a man in the ripped up charred suit, and he goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the world blow up for, for a very brief period. Our 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 stockholders were very happy. <laughs> I think about I think about, I think about that comic. Like, like I know I think about that comic yeah. almost that little image almost every day. About it's the so it's real as hell. It's so fucking real.
but anywho, <laughs> I will finally get out of your hair. Um, no, this is but yeah, um, make your boards clear. That's the long story short. Make sure your boards are clear <laughs> and uh, and uh, concise, and they don't need to be pretty or fancy or clean. They just need to be serviceable and show your skills in a strong, clear, yeah. direct way. So, thank you for uh, another wonderful time. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I hope you both enjoy the rest of your stream. I'm going to yeah. uh, um, look under the couches for crumbs because I'm hungry. Okay. I'm no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get some legit dinner. I can afford dinner. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not living out of a box quite yet. Quite yet. We'll get. All right, but take care. All have too. a good one. Yeah. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Michael Rocco. What a what a hellscape that was for me having to fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Luckily you guys were able to talk a bunch. Yeah, um, yeah. We just you know, shooting the Let shit. me do the thing, I guess.